Introduced in Unreal Engine 4.21 is the Pixel Streaming Plugin. And we're going to take a quick look at it. So first off, what is the Pixel Streaming Plugin? It allows us to stream pixels from one location to another. That's basically what it is. Intended, for example, to stream to mobile devices, higher-end graphics or projects, web players, and other things like that. So here's an example project. It's just a sample scene. We can see my character moving around. Over here, I have a web browser. I have Chrome loaded up. It's connected to the server that's running. I can start it. We can see it connecting. Once I play, I'm now in it. I can actually control inside of the web browser here. Since I'm on Windows, I can use the standard controls for this project. Or if I was on mobile, I could use the mobile controls. In addition, items done on the server are transferred back to the clients, and again, clients back to the server. So let's go ahead and shut these down for now so we can actually work on our project. I'm going to close down our server, and we'll move off our host to the side. Now, in order to start this, it's a plugin. So we need to go to Edit, Plugins, search for Pixel, and spell it properly. And once you have it found, you can enable it. It'll restart your editor, and that's pretty much all you really need to do for your project in order for your project to just simply stream whatever's there. No real interactivity, but we'll cover that shortly. We can go ahead and package our project out, for example, to Windows 64. Once it's packaged out, we can pull it up. So, for example, here's my folder that I built it out to, Windows No Editor, and here's the project. If I was to run this, I could connect to it. Now, in order to get audio properly streaming, you have to use the new audio mixer. So we need to create a shortcut to our project and add the audio mixer flag at the end, or else audio will not stream properly. After that, we need to work on getting our actual server set up. So inside of our Epic Games folder, or wherever you've installed your engine, inside your engine version, under engine, under source, if I can figure that out, here we go. We have source for projects that come with the engine. So version, which is 4.21, engine, source, programs, we get these folders. Pixel streaming is the one that you want. Now, what I did was I copied the entire pixel streaming folder out into my main game folder, so it's side by side, but you could just run it inside of here. Once you have your pixel streaming folder, you have a few things we need to do. Inside of our web servers, Signaling Web Server is our main setup. You can run the run.bat program, and what this will do is download anything that you need to download using npm and set up your server and run it. You do need Node.js installed on your machine in order for the server to work, so that is something to note. I have Node.js installed, so it will run without a problem. Depending on your operating system and your settings, you may need to run as administrator, so it has write permissions based on where you have it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and run this as administrator and let it run. It'll download anything it needs to do, update anything it needs to do, and then run it. And down here, you can see it's listening on that port and listening on that port. That's your basic setup. All of these ports are configurable in the documentation. After you have your signaling server, then we need the actual streaming server. So if we go back to pixel streaming, WebRTC proxy, binary, we have our start files right here, start web RTC proxy. We'll go and run that one. Once this is running, as you see, it ran really quickly. That's it. Now, once your program runs with the Pixel Streaming plugin, it's going to connect to these servers, and then someone else can connect to it using the IP address. That's pretty much it. That is the basics. So as you can see here, I ran this server. I ran this server. Now, if I was to run the program, with my audio mixer, it would go ahead and connect and work. However, you may want to be iterating, and you don't want to necessarily have to build out your project every time. You can run it in standalone, and it will connect. And if you want the audio to work, if we go under project settings, and we go to, oh, not project settings, editor preferences, level editor, play. Down here, we have additional launch parameters, and you can launch it with the audio mixer. So running it like that will go ahead when I play in standalone, allow it to launch with the audio streaming properly. So we're going to go and launch this again. We'll bring back up our two servers so you can see it connecting. Right now, nothing. This starts up. We can go over here. Here's my web browser again. We'll click to start. 
and it should can I let's try refreshing it okay okay I accidentally paused the server so that really didn't help there we go servers back up and running help if you didn't pause it you can see I connected here you can see I connected here it's connected and we're back to our project and we can control it now on the top right we have a few options so if you're connecting as the master you can kick anyone else who's connected enlarge the display to fill the window so if it's not in there you can see it's not going to fit the screen size so in here we go like this this is a 1280 by 720 enlarging it basically fills up the entire screen plus the nice thing is you can resize it and you can see it resizes and runs fine quality control ownership who is in charge of the quality control and then stats so you can see the stats as things are connecting now these things such as bit rate frame rate items like that let's go ahead and disconnect my player here those are all configurable inside of our bat files as well as using the encode commands inside of our project all of those are inside of our documentation there is an immense amount of documentation for pixel streaming as you can see here if we go back to the pixel streaming intro you have a full setup with all the information you also have additional things such as customizing the player web page so you can customize it to your use hosting a network guide as well as the pixel streaming reference this is where you'd configure items as well as the supported browsers google chrome mozilla firefox and safari one nice thing is when you're customizing your player page you actually have full input output you have nodes that you can accept input from the remote clients send them over to the server the server can do an event and then send that information back so you can have interactivity inside of the client in addition to the project you can have a web page customized maybe you can go to different scenes different colors different options all stylized inside of your web page itself and that's it that is the basics of the pixel streaming plugin introduced in unreal engine 4.21